بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما Okay so the next thing we'll try to understand the management plane with SDN now as we are moving on to the SDN topic how the management plane is going to impact or is is there any is there any change in the behavior of the management plane with respect to SDN so we'll try to understand that so again the functionality of the management plane remains the same so we are not going to make any changes here as well like we'll take a simple example let's say i want i, I got my router here and if you want to manage this router let's say in this example this is router 2 i want to make some changes maybe changes or you want to verify the configurations whatever you want to do you you generally go to the command line and initiate a telnet or ssh connection so you log into the computer and then use some putty software and you log into the command line by using either ssh or telnet to individual router individual device and then you type in the specific commands on that particular command line so this is a typical way you do in general before sdn we can say now with sdn we almost do the same thing so so we are not going to replace the telnet protocol or ssh we use ssh majorly here ssh or if you're using gui then probably we use http https so here also we do the same thing but the only difference is now in our network we do have a controller now so in the previous topics we already discussed the job of a controller now what i want is i want to tell it to the router now my task is the same thing i want to log into the router 2 and i want to make changes to the router 2 that's something what i want so now you don't need to do it from from your pc or from your laptop or you don't need to log into the particular device now we have a centralized software we'll be using like in our case uh, with cisco we have something like cisco dna so we'll be using some kind of centralized software running uh, running on your controller or on the application on the server now with this from this controller what we are going to do is we are going to issue the specific commands now now in this software you have a list of devices already present in a gui format now what i'll be doing is i'm going to select router 2 from the list or router 3 router 4 you, you need to select all the routers at once and then i can go to a specific uh, a command utilizer there is a option called over there now i can go and say okay issue this specific command now, now i can say that connect to these devices and issue a specific show commands or make these changes now i can type in the commands whatever you want now what i'm doing is i'm not using a uh, external putty software or i'm not using any computer so everything we are going to manage from the controller so the controller can have the capability to to initiate a ssh session to the individual device where no longer the user has to log in manually or even you can schedule this you even you can go and say okay i can schedule this at a, at around maybe 5 am on this particular date i want my i want my software to to do this task and you don't need to be physically present over there okay so this is something what you can do with the controllers so still we are doing the similar job but it can be automated it can be automated with the help of sdn software or the sdn controllers okay so that's what i said schedule it and issue the commands or even you can say okay at this particular point of time maybe in the 5 am i want my controller to go and issue specific command let's say show process cpu like someone reported around 5 4 am the cpu utilization is going high or collect the network statistics and get all this information around this you can and display that information back to the controller so so here the controller when we are using the sdn controllers we are not actually changing the existing management plane uh, management plane job it still do the same thing and still it uses the similar same protocols but instead of doing it manually we are telling the controller to do the same thing so we are doing it from the centralized console uh, by using some software over there so this part is same additionally additionally you may see some of the new mechanisms 
uh, has been developed to to manage the devices not all the devices support this yet like we have something called netconf yang and some use which uses some kind of xml based commands now 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 these things let me just quickly give an overview on this exactly netconf stands for network configuration protocol so it is it is basically providing a mechanism to install the configurations or you install some kind of configurations or make any changes to the existing configurations or you can also delete the configuration on the networking devices now the agents are nothing but your networking devices you can send these instructions uh, from a centralized uh, console using this one so basically this netconf uses uh, some kind of scripts some which are xml based xml stands for extensible markup language which is a kind of data encoding for for your messages or we can say for your configuration data and whereas again yang is another it's actually a modeling language we call it as a modeling language which is going to describe the format of the changes or the configuration changes whereas netconf is a, actually a protocol that is going to apply so we can say this yang is like a model data model which defines the format whereas netconf is actually a protocol uh, which is which is going to apply the changes and they use uh, some kind of xml based uh, scripts so not all the devices may support like maybe you have some router maybe you, not all vendors or if you're using some cisco devices maybe all cisco devices may not support this new mechanism so that is something you need to know uh, but again, you need to know this is just an, another way of SDN controller can reach out the individual boxes and you can manage them instead of using the normal uh, CLI, normal CLI like I discussed the previous options.